here with John O'Donnell, the Executive Vice President of Osra Incorporated. They've got a wonderful new technology that steals a bit from old technologies and I think is, has the potential to solve a lot of our, our energy woes. John, could you tell me a bit about what this, tech, this your solar technology, could you explain a bit what is different about your technology from other solar companies? Sure, Osra is first of all building solar thermal power plants that gather sunlight and generate steam and drive steam, turb drive steam turbines. Mm -hmm. So rather than directly trying to convert sunlight with special materials directly into electric power, we gather sunlight with mirrors and generate steam in overhead receivers. What you're looking at is a picture of a collector that's a thousand feet long, a hundred feet wide, and generates five megawatts, five million watts of heat, which then runs a power station. Um, the first part, the company c came from Australia and has been running in Australia for five years, just has been brought to the United States this year to build large-scale power stations. This is a, a computer-generated image of a 175 megawatt power station. Um, it's one square mile. It will generate power both when the sun is shining and some of the time when it's not. It will have some amount of energy storage as well. Because solar thermal power stations generate heat, we can capture heat and store it in storage tanks so that the generators can continue to run into the afternoon and evening. The breakthrough here is the use of commodity materials and mass production so that these power stations will be competitive with the cost of gas-fired power generation and eventually with the cost of coal-fired power generation. The U.S. has massive solar resources. If we took a patch of land 92 miles by 92 miles, with today's technology, you could generate all of the power the country uses day and night. And that corresponds to 10% of the federal land in the state of Nevada. Long-term climate change has driven land out of agricultural use in Nevada, Colorado, Arizona. Just that land alone could generate just the land that was farmed a decade ago that's no longer being farmed could generate all of America's new electric power for decades. Have you run into problems so far with bringing the infrastructure to your installations and then getting the energy out to the public? So in the, it, it, it's true that when we build central stations, we have to move the power long distances to where the cities are and the load centers are. Mm -hmm. it, it's worth pointing out that People actually live in places like Phoenix. I don't understand it. But, you know, there are places where people live that are very close to large scale solar resources so that it's not a new transmission problem. Just as there might be a large power plant outside town, there could be a large solar pl power plant outside town. As we go, so the, the early plants, Osra's building plants, there's some other companies that are building that have announced large solar plants for California. The early ones will all use existing transmission. However, building transmission for renewable energy is a major area that needs ongoing policy attention. Today, transmission accounts for about 7% of your electric bill. And this solar technology is about half the price of the rooftop things. So this solar technology can go to very large scale and be the most economical solution even with the cost of transmission factored in. Right. So can you explain uh, a little bit more about the technology and the way that sure. it works? It would be great to sure. get so in here, and I'll, I'll move over here and you can just point it's things It's hard out. to get a sense of scale from these pictures, but what you're looking at, this is a reflector that's about the size of a tractor trailer truck. It's about 55 feet long, about 8 feet wide, and it's part of a strip that's 1,000 feet long, tracker motors, tilt that reflector as the sun moves to keep its reflection focused up on this set of receiver pipes. It is actually slightly curved so it throws a tight line up here. There are nine more of those reflectors so up here we get uh, solar radiation at about 40 times brighter than on the surface of the earth. Running through there is a set of boiler pipes 
just as would line the inside of a coal power plant. But at this time, instead of the heat coming from burning coal, the heat's coming from sunlight. Water goes in one end, steam, high pressure steam at over a thousand pounds per square inch comes out the other end and goes off to a steam turbine, which converts the energy in the steam into electric power. And, and that's then the water recycles. So a, a full up power plant, for example, this image has about 200 of these collector lines that make a 180 megawatt power plant. That's great. And so the steam running the turbine is actually the battery system that holds the energy in over the night or on cloudy days when there is no sun. And so you can actually keep producing energy when there is no sun. Yes, that's right. So you can build a plant that during the day collects more energy than it's generating at the time and stores some of that energy as pressurized hot water mm -hmm. or other materials. There are several plants now that have this kind of energy storage and we're experimenting with several to figure out what's going to be the cheapest as we go forward. Thank you very much for your time. Is there anything else that you'd like to add about your company or about the technology that you think would be interesting to people? Uh, the company name uh, Osra is an ancient, is the Indo-European goddess of the dawn and um, with solar power reaching the market price of power we expect to see very rapid growth as utilities take up this form of generation and um, we don't think we can do it fast enough. We're excited that a whole industry is getting going. We're not yeah. the only guys doing this. Great. Well, thank you very much. It's been a great, great, great time talking with you. Thank you. Thanks.